Because we'll find it very hard to see tech getting stale until someone comes along and innovates something new into a type of product. The gaming mouse market has been pretty much the same for the past several years, with slight improvements to the optical sensors, but you rarely see a bold move to gaming mouse design. That is until Lexip dropped their crowdfunded PU94. And luckily for us, we've got one right here in the studio to show you what you can expect from the device. Now, of course, there are similarities to standard gaming mice, but Lexip have really created something that feels hugely unique. And that's the joystick on the side and the fact that the whole mouse can actually act as a joystick itself thanks to its articulating base plate. There's no hiding the fact that Lexip has made a great looking gaming mouse. The fact that the RGB effects are nice and subtle with the logo on the rear hump and the strip around the bottom border really proves that Lexip isn't just creating an in your face bright gaming mouse. It looks very smart and it does look very refined. So on top, the mouse is coated in a soft to touch plastic material, while the sides are a lot more grippy thanks to its rubberized panels. Now it feels quite chunky to hold and there's a reason for that, which I will get to in a moment. I also never had to scrunch my fingers to get them to hit each button, though the hump on the back of the PU94 felt comfortable to rest my entire hand. Now if I was being picky, I would have liked the joystick on the left to be a little closer to the rear of the mouse, and it was quite hard to put the center of the stick under the center of my thumb. I had to resort to using my thumb tip to actually move it. It's a very small thing though, and it didn't really ruin my experience with this mouse at all. Minus the joystick on the left hand side, all of your usual buttons remain. There are your usual left and right clicks, two physical buttons above the thumbstick on the left, a scroll wheel that clicks and scrolls in increments. There's a DPI switcher just under the scroll wheel when that switches between three sensitivities, all of which can be set yourself and saved to different profiles inside of the control software. Now the joystick also clicks, which in total equates to six programmable buttons if you exclude the DPI switch and 12 programmable macros, which will be more than enough to keep gamers happy, I'm sure. The thumbstick itself has a two axis design and tilts up to 30 degrees in all directions. And when not inside of games, works very well for scrolling websites and social media feeds. It is a little sensitive by default, but you can definitely turn that up and down inside of the Lexic Control app by adjusting its dead zone. The really unique feature, however, with the PU94 is the fact that the entire mouse can tilt too. The base of the PU94 is its own joystick, so not only do you have a thumbstick, the entire mouse can be turned into its very own joystick. It's definitely an extremely unique feature and one that took some time getting used to. For me though, there's a time and a place for this kind of feature. And one thing I would have liked to have seen is the ability to lock it off so it kept the base plate in place. It got a little off-putting when playing traditional first-person shooters, but for something like Battlefield 5, for example, where one minute you're running and gunning as a soldier on the ground, and the next minute you're in a plane zipping through the skies, it meant that I didn't have to get out my gamepad. Lexip's website highlights space simulators like Star Citizen or Elite Dangerous or similar, where you can control the pitch, yaw, and roll of your spacecraft. Lexip call it 3D motion and their tilting shell design, which is a pretty fitting name as you're literally tilting the mouse. And yes, although it is a strange sensation, it's definitely a game changer in certain scenarios. The Lexip PU94 states it uses an ADN S9300 optical sensor on the bottom which is capable of up to 12,000 dpi. However, I couldn't find any more information or comparisons for this sensor elsewhere online, so unfortunately I can't deliver more information to you here yet, but do keep your eyes on the description and comments. If I find anything, I will post them there. I'm also sure someone will come along with more information anyway in the comments below. Now I can say however that using the mouse in and out of games it did track really well and I noticed no real lag. I turned off all mouse acceleration inside of Windows though but if you're a gamer with a gaming mouse you've probably done this anyway. The six ceramic feet on the base of the Lexit mice are also a great feature and with their B5 RGB mouse pad that we also got the chance to test I was very impressed and happy with the setups. The mouse pad requires the USB power for the effects to light up, you know, the RGB stuff, so make sure you've got a port free on your PC. The cable itself for the Lexit PU94 is braided and can be detached from the mouse. Now, I'm not sure why, as I couldn't see if the PU94 was wireless, but it certainly wasn't advertising the fact. 
It uses micro USB 2, I know, which is a little bit of annoyance. A modern innovative mouse surely should be using USB Type-C, and I know I have hang-ups about this as I've mentioned in previous reviews, but I just feel modern tech needs modern connections and not micro USB, which seems to break very easily. The Lexip control software is a relatively simple software to manage on the surface, but offers some real customization options, especially when it comes to the joysticks. Most options are pretty common, like the RGB effects or DPI sensitivities, but where it became a little daunting was when I dove into the joystick options. On this screen, you're greeted with different functionalities for each movement, so you can keep it on the traditional joystick option, that's fine, but you can also state that if you want each direction of the joystick to act as a button press or a keystroke or even a macro. I tried a Minecraft profile as it's a relatively easy first person game to play and I could assign the jump key to the tilting back function of the mouse or to open my crafting menu when tilting to the left. And this works for all games which can be quite beneficial. This works for the side joystick as well. You could assign it to a movement function like walking forward, backwards or strafing or action functions like throwing a grenade or reloading your weapon in an FPS if you just tap the joystick in a single direction. As I said, Lexit claim that this mouse is best for flying sims and city builders. So that's what I did. Elite Dangerous was by far the hardest to get set up and running as flying a ship isn't really as easy as just flicking the mouse. Well, it is but you'd then have to rely on keyboard commands to really get going. With the Lexit PU94 though, you can assign your pitch, yaw and roll to the mouse itself, as well as accelerate and decelerate to the thumbstick on the side. But where this mouse did really shine for me was with City Builders. And I've got a massive soft spot for Anno 1800 at the moment and using this mouse was a bit of a game changer. Now, I usually navigate the map using my arrow keys on my keyboard and click on the mouse wheel to rotate the camera. Though with the PU94, all movement and all building can be done with the mouse itself. Now, if you lean it forward and your camera moves forward, pull it back and the camera moves back. The thumbstick on the side also controlled the zoom. The Lexit PU94 is great, there is no denying it. It's innovative, it performs super well, and its design is great and comfortable to use. However, it's definitely not going to be the mouse for everyone. Lexip have got it right. This mouse is for flyers and city builders, and for those types of games, it smashed it out of the park. However, for games of Siege or Warzone or even Fortnite, a more traditional setup I think would be better. If there was the ability to lock off the mouse tilt so you could push the mouse around your desk without tilting, it would be unstoppable. But for me, I had to change my gaming profile so the mouse tilt wasn't assigned to a function. It was just too easy to accidentally tilt the mouse while aiming around the screen. So if you're about to fire on an enemy, the tilt might do something else like throw a grenade or jump. But if you play a lot of City Skylines or Anno 1800, Elite Dangerous, Flight Simulator or the other myriad of flyers and builders out there, then give this mouse a look. It'll take you some time to get used to the functionality, but it will definitely help speed up your gameplay and become more accurate with what you want to do in games. So thank you very much for checking out our video review on the Lexit PU94 Gaming Mouse. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Please subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos. And also let us know in the comments down below what you think about this mouse, whether you like the fact the whole thing can tilt. And if you play any kind of city builders or uh, flying simulator games, let us know if this mouse could help you out. Uh, also, we do stream over on Twitch from 8.30pm onwards on a Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday British time. If you want to come over here to ask us about the mouse, to ask us a general question about tech or just to join in with us playing some games, then do come over and say hi. As I say, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.